I um, came to this country in 1989 from um, a country that is no longer on the map from the former Soviet Union. And um, we were very lost and very confused and extremely poor. So um, when we came, we were so confused. So you know, it's like a true story. One time we didn't know where to go and we called a family member and we said, we're, we're lost. And they said, okay, read the street sign. So we said, okay, we are between walk and don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't get much help. Um, Another funny story that happened was when uh, my grandmother came to tell us that finally someone is giving out free stuff, to be exact, free food, and she ran in to tell us that a store is giving out free chicken. So we all walked to that store, took a while, and then we realized it's a bank, and they're giving out free checking. So it was a bit of a disappointing story. My father was not pleased with that. But, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, um, you know, everything was an issue. And most importantly, you know, paying the bills, it was a very big problem. And, you know, we come from Russia. So summers are like when the polar bears, they kind of move away from the big cities. So when we came and it's 100 degrees in the summer, it's a little bit, a little bit hot. So we didn't know what to do and the bills were high. So my father said, we all have to gather up next to the air conditioning unit. And that wasn't really great because we were all like bunched up together. And then one of our friends said, you know, art museum in Philadelphia, um, it's free and it's good for the kids. So we're Russian Jews and you know, free education and free air conditioning, that's great. So my parents bunched us up and we went to the, on like SEPTA, it took us a while, but we got to the art museum and we did this for a while and then someone told us of a better plan. How about you guys move into BJ's instead? The reason that it's better is because there's also free food there. <laughs> so this is like a great plan. We couldn't believe it. So, you know, incognito, we're all covered up. We're not sure, you know, what to make of it. So we all walk into BJ's and it is wonderful. It's like 65 degrees and we walk around and there's chairs and no pressure to stare at pictures, pretend like you belong. <laughs> and you know, the kids, which is me and my brother, we don't whine as much because you know, we don't have to look at the famous Renoirs for four hours at a time and pretend like we're interested. And as we walk around, there is free food. So like, this is heaven. But the problem is that, you know, immigrants, we talk amongst ourselves, so soon enough, other people knew that you can live in PJs. And not only Sundays, but pretty much anytime you feel like you wanna save on air conditioning. So, you know, we arrive and there's all, everyone we know, and they're all living in PJs. So it was really hard to continue to be incognito when all these people are like there, and now we're having, com you know, conversation, how's life? And slowly, we noticed BJ stopped serving free food because, you know, they didn't want to really encourage us to continue to do that. And my father said, you got to, like, keep it low, otherwise we have to move back for Sunday visits to the art museum. And that wasn't something I was looking forward to. Um, so you, it's funny because people would start gathering um, in BJ's and say, well, you know, let's meet up tomorrow and talk about it. We are, like, aisle 10, you know? So, <laughs> and then... Um, as time was going by, they stopped serving food and they stopped serving drinks because this was becoming like a problem for the store. And years go by and funny enough, you know, I still think art museum is fabulous and I have special place in my heart for it. And BJ's is still my favorite store, but I decided that there, it, there is a better address than living in BJ. So I decided, you know what, let me just go and get education and, and build a life for myself so I don't have to be, depend on free food at BJ's. So, but still, I will never forget how very generous people from BJ's fed us and kept us cool. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Experience Market.